Hi! While it certainly is a challenge to find kitchen appliances that are worthy of your hard-earned money, it isn't impossible, especially when you have a reliable source to point you in the direction of the brands you can trust. Let this channel be that source. In preparing this video countdown of the top models, the team researched literally dozens of tools, ranking each one based on its performance, its affordability, and the reliability of its manufacturer, and also read real-life consumers' opinions about each product. Let's see which are the best models in this year. Black & Decker, the number one brand in irons. The Black & Decker Digital Advantage iron offers at a glance convenience. The stainless steel sole plate not only provides performance, but also longevity. Beyond steam surge and spray mist, our vertical steaming feature lets you fight wrinkles at any angle. The auto clean system leaves you hassle free and the automatic shutdown will leave you worry free. With the Black & Decker Digital Advantage Iron, you will be looking your best without losing rest. The Maytag M400. The Maytag M400 is a 1500-watt iron with an 8-ounce water tank. It heats up in less than 55 seconds. It has vertical steam. It has a stainless steel sole plate, preset garment temperature dial, a self-cleaning button. It has a burst of steam button and a spray button for water steam. The Maytag M400.
Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to demonstrate how to start up successfully a Rowenta DG8520 Perfect Steam Generator. First thing that you'll need to do is fill up the water tank to the maximum water level, which is shown here. We've already done that in the sink and have brought the tank back. The next thing you'll do is assemble the tank back onto the machine. Just put it in place, push down until you hear it click. The next thing you will do is plug in the machine to the, into the electrical outlet. Next, you will push the on off button to on. And you'll notice that the steam indicator light blinks. And your initial startup, that will blink for approximately three minutes while the boiler is heating up. Uh, and you have to wait until that becomes solid before you start ironing. The next thing you'll do is adjust the temperature on your iron. And you'll notice that it comes, uh, this is your indicator down here. The iron normally comes in the minimum position, which is no steam. So you have to rotate the dial up past the no steam section until you get to the steam which is either wool, cotton, or linen. And in this case, you'll have to, we'll pick cotton just for the demonstration. And you'll notice as you turn the dial, the iron light comes on, indicator light comes on, and you have to wait a few minutes uh, for that to heat up and go off before you can start to iron uh, and use the steam. So we'll have to wait a few minutes. Uh, if you come back down to the steam indicator light, you notice that it's solid at this point. Uh, and again, we to shorten the video, we've we've preheated this, but it, again, it takes about three minutes for that to start up initially. Uh, so the boiler, the machine is ready down here, uh, and we just need to wait for the iron to heat up over here. So we'll wait a minute or two. Uh, for the iron to heat up. Okay, so at this point, uh, the iron indicator light is off and the steam indicator light down below is solid so the machine is actually ready to use at this point so if it's locked you'll push down the lock lever and lift the iron off the base and at this point you can push the button underneath the handle to get steam and you notice that you get lots of steam okay uh, and you'll notice that uh, down at the bottom, the tank uh, or the machine is not leaking uh, under the base. Uh, the iron is not leaking. Uh, and you're getting nice steam and you can iron for uh, however long you want until the water runs out. Uh, and that's a successful startup.